Welcome back to another episode of what? That turbo. Got a T25G here. As you can see, it's very oily. It has lots of shaft play, both in and out and side to side. It's burning some oil. It's not looking great. Burning some oil there. That's not good. All right, let's get into tearing this apart. As usual, we're gonna start with these. I assume these are all gonna be seized because these are famous for becoming seized. Never tend to get lucky with these ones. This oil drain one is gonna be difficult here. Yeah. Because you can't get a clothes then in there. See that? So you can only hope and pray that this comes undone with the open end, which is more than often not the case. Oh wow. You guys witnessed that. That just came loose. God damn. Even this one with the open end. How about this one with the open end? Oh no, okay. Let's not get greedy. Okay, this one's very tight. Okay, this one is definitely stuck. We're gonna need some oil on this one. Put it on all of them. Okay, this one. It's a possibility that this one might snap. We're not playing around. That's gonna be pretty hot. Actually, that's gonna be very hot. Let's just try this. Please. 
No way. We got the evil guy. This is the bolt that took like 10 minutes to remove, at least 10, 15 minutes. Lots of heat and some oil. The rest of these bolts should fly out. Okay, now it's time to hammer this off. Bolts are very hot. Okay. Here we have the cartridge. Okay, got our exhaust housing here. As you can see, very oily from removal. Luckily, we got the one bolt out, which was this top one. You can see the threads are very shiny because the bolt didn't come out very nice but a thread chaser will take care of that one that one's really good i'm happy about that it's very good housing as well not cracked on the back rare for one of these now we're going to take the core out of the compressor housing which is all still very ow very hot so somebody's been a not very nice person i'll put in the clip here but hopefully i can get it opened up because I can't get my things in here. So, if you ever find yourself running into this situation, this is what you gotta do. Okay, I've got a turbo on the vise. You need the can of well through primer out the way. And turn the compressor, I'll see. Like this. Now, take this out of here. And our circlip is free. Now we can get to this. Okay. Now we've got our circlip in a position where we can actually remove it. We can actually get it out. Right. Get our circlip out of the way. Of course the core is already loose because of all this heat, it's pretty hot. And we're off the jump. Look at the damage on this compressor wheel. On the inlet fins and then also here on the extrusor because it's got so much in and out play. That thrust bearing is toast. And to illustrate the shaft play, that's a lot of shaft play. Yeah, that compressor housing is toast. You're not using that with a standard compressor compressor wheel. So I'm gonna be upgrading this one luckily and machining out this housing. So this doesn't matter. Right, got the 13 on the back, aiming on the front. Oh my, wow, that is super tight. <laughs> on that one yeah that's very tight get that off of there get a compressor wheel out no over speeding just the damage and the bearing failure i'd imagine get the shaft all <laughs> look how easy that pulls out that piston ring is toast not sure if you can see that but look how it's bent and damaged wow heat shield's been scraping as well it's not ideal and then it's dug into the bearing housing wow that is really worn in there this would automatically go on the bin, but we're gonna open this up and have a look inside. There we 
go. I'm wondering if this has been taken apart before. Cork spits go on there. Take my gloves off to take this out. So we don't get too much dirt on it. Ho 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 ho. Look at that. God. That is flush from way in there. That's destroyed. Saying that though, the collar's actually not too bad. It's mostly the brass bearing that's gone bad. Also, you can see some some dirt and oil contamination. That's probably the reason why uh, it wore out. There's some contamination in there. Big out that first journal bearing. Doesn't look too bad actually. It's not deeply scored or anything, it's just worn. Take out the O-ring, pretty soft as well still, not not hardened. That's the rear journal. A little bit of scoring there. And it's okay on the inside. So just some scoring on the outside. But we do know these are pretty worn. We can see here as well, the, where the rear piston ring seal goes, that's completely eaten out from all the missing material that came off that, that seal on the turbine shaft. Can look at that. The shaft itself is not actually that scored. So, what's the final verdict on this turbo? So, as expected, this is a thrust bearing failure, which then caused the shaft to move back and forth, which in turn damaged this piston wing seal on the turbine shaft, made the compressor wheel go into the compressor housing, as well as the added fact of having this uh, inlet damage here that could be from running a bad air filter but that is not the main cause of failure on this uh, on this instance out of balance possibly could also be a contributing factor for the journal bearings wearing out since they don't have any major scoring so this could be attributed to being out of balance due to the damage so it's a possibility that caused the journal bearing wear but we did have a thrust bearing failure which caused the shaft to go bad the compressor wheel to go bad and of course the thrust bearing to go bad. Um, I wonder if that could be attributed to the debris we found here in the oil feed. So it could be an oil supply issue just because, you know, these little holes here are clogged because somebody didn't want to change the oil very often. So it's a possibility that this is clogged, you know, because of lack of servicing, which is not ideal. But yeah, this is our little guy that caused all of this so if you learned something you enjoyed give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed more to come got loads more to come this one's going to get upgraded to something very very nice maybe i'll post it on the channel who knows but thank you for watching peace out